Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today I have a very exciting unboxing for you guys. Actually, a dual unboxing. So, one of the boxes is a prototype that I am uh, one of the lucky first reviewers to get their hands on. Um, this is just going to be a very brief unboxing of that, but I have a lot more to say about that one down the road. And the other package is a D-Lo special. And if you guys have seen any of my other unboxings from D-Lo in the past, you know they are definitely worth checking out. Um, he has some very unique knives and a uh, pretty jaw-dropping collection. So we're going to take a look at a couple more of those. Before I get into these packages, though, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in today. If you like what you see, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button, follow along, and I will continue to bring you the content. Now, let's take a look at uh, the first knife, which is right here. This is the prototype that is coming through. Um, I, I'm going to be working... Uh, a little longer than normal to get a review done for this um, but there will be a review coming down the road um, there's just a little more work behind the scenes regarding this one but uh, let's hop right into it unboxing knife is the Kaiser Feist and uh, let's dig into this and see what we have here um, if you guys follow a lot of other uh, knife designers and manufacturers and whatnot on YouTube. You've probably heard of this guy by now. Um, he has a very, very good eye for designing knives. And uh, what we have here is something from Null Knives. So you guys have probably heard of him by now. Um, doing some really, really good work in the community. Still, still very, not very new, but relatively new. Um, he's working on fulfilling his first knife design right now, which should be dropping here uh, later this year. But what we have here is his latest proto, and this is the Null Knives Voodoo. This um, is a very, very attractive knife. Now, we're not going to go over any specs or really talk about it at all. This is just simply a brief unboxing and some, some very, very brief initial first impressions because I have a lot to say about this knife. Um, from the moment I've seen it, it really, really did um, pull me into it with some aesthetics that are pretty stinking amazing in my opinion. I don't know if I have all the words to describe just how much I enjoy the design of this knife, um, but I have a lot more uh, carrying and reviewing to do of it before I upload any full reviews, so this is in the works, but uh, yeah, this is just a little just a little showing off here for everyone to see such a gorgeous design, and I cannot wait to bring you guys the full review of this guy coming up at some point in the future. But the Null Knives Voodoo, if you're not following Null Knives, hop on Instagram, give him a follow. It's the best way to stay up to date with his information. I believe he also does have a website. If he does, I'll have all that linked below in this video. Um, but a very, very attractive piece coming out of Null Knives. But again, this is just the prototype. Uh, more coming down the road. Now, what we have in this package right here is the D-Lo special to see just what we have this time. And uh, I actually know what's in here, so it's not going to be a big surprise to me, but I think it'll be um, a pleasant little uh, video to check out for you guys because these two knives here um, are very, very impressive, both of them, for different reasons. Um, this one is super unique, so we're going to put this off to the side. The only reason I know that is because I know what's in here. And I know kind of what's in here, and you guys have probably seen some of these before, but this one is a little different. This is the Olamic Whippersnapper, but it's not just any Whippersnapper. Um, if you notice, all the Whippersnappers in the past have been uh, full titanium handles. This is actually the Bolster Lock whippersnapper with some gorgeous gorgeous dama steel let's see i think it said yes uh wsbl dama steel gorgeous gorgeous dama steel pattern and i really do want a knife in dama steel that's definitely something i want to add to the collection at some point in the future um i think i already know which knife is going to be the first one to get in the collection with that but we'll talk more about that later let's just take in this beauty because the blade on this whippersnapper, this is the Warncliffe version, which I enjoy a little extra. I think I like this a little more than the Sheep's Foot blade. It's just such a beautiful design. And this carbon fiber, look at this. 
I believe it's cross-cut carbon fiber is the, the proper term for it. Um, but it's just gorgeous. Love how that works with just kind of the plain bolster and just the lines that come down the handle. Then on the other side, we have an anodized, uh, kind of like a mirror polish finish on it, um, which looks to be some type of like purplish blue anodization, as well as the hardware is the same on it. And it's a very, very high satin finish. So, uh, thumbprints really kind of stick out on that. Can't say I love the clip on this. I, I like the design of the clip. I just don't like the, the high gloss anodization. But uh, just look at the beauty in this knife. Uh, and I believe, yes, ridiculously smooth. This is buttery, glassy. Oh my gosh, the action is just incredible. And this is easily 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 reach around approved and one of my favorite ways to deploy the whippersnapper and you can do this with other front flippers but this little index pull here now it's not even the index pull because i feel like index pull is basically just a reach around but this kind of like crossover pull is just so satisfying to do with this whippersnapper because it is just so incredibly smooth it really is a piece it's a piece that i've wanted to add to my collection for a very long time. The only thing that kind of makes me hold off on buying one is they really do need to get a little thinner behind the edge on Olamix, especially with the Whippersnapper series. Um, I don't have my calipers on me, they're in the other room, um, but this is a thick, thick edge. Uh, I would have to say this is probably, I mean, obviously these are not calipers here, um, but definitely feels very thick, probably 27 to 28 thousandths behind the edge. Um, now, granted, I'm sure it still cuts fine, but I don't know. I just feel like, I feel like when you're paying this much, because this was a ex very expensive piece, I believe this had to have been somewhere in the seven to $800 range, if not more, um, I would safely say somewhere between 700 and 1,000. But yeah, there's there's a lot of money in this knife, but it really is gorgeous. Um, love, love, love this carbon fiber. I wish I'd see more of that um, on production models or even, you know, expensive Riot builds or whatnot. Um, I don't mind paying for it when it's this quality. Just super, super smooth, and it just looks gorgeous. It really does look fantastic. And then this diamond steel is great, and it's just a... a great combination a perfect marriage of the carbon fiber and the dama steel with the bolster here it looks fantastic and it's god as smooth as this thing is just listen to the listen to the drop just oh such such phenomenal action um if this had a slice your blade i would love to see a hollow grind on this if this had a hollow grind Oh boy, that would be absolutely fantastic. Middle finger flick is good. You can also do kind of your index finger flick. Um, I'm sure you can probably, oh wow. Okay, never done that before. That was, uh, yeah, very, very easy. Thumb flick with the hole. I don't do that a lot because I hate the way it feels, but that was still super easy. And yeah, this is a little fidget beast and just a very gorgeous, unique knife. Uh, one that I enjoy very much. Really, really grateful Dilo sent this along to show on the channel. Um, and just another little glimpse into what Olamic can do. They uh, really do have some creative minds there in terms of components and designs and overall fit and finish on their knife. It is fantastic. They're just expensive. So if you're going to get an Olamic, you uh, better be prepared to drop hundreds and hundreds of dollars because uh, just the base models of these, I think, start out around 500 500 or 600 maybe. Um not cheap, but nonetheless, fantastic knives. Um, and I always like showcasing them on the channel because they really are that good. Okay, next up, last one here. And I also have, um, I'm going to be doing a review of this and kind of just a little more information about this maker because he's, he's, he's very unique in what he does. I kind of consider this a custom, but it's not really like a full-blown custom. Let's take a look at it and I'll explain but uh, what we have here is kind of a bug out. Um, we have the scales of a bug out, but this blade is absolutely not a bug out. What we have here is kind of a, 
I guess we'll call it maybe a semi-custom or a, a custom blade from Transparent Knives. And um, I will have more information on the person behind Transparent Knives um, in the full review of this knife because this is one that's it's creative enough. There's enough information behind this knife that I think warrants a full review and kind of just um, an overview of Transparent Knives because there's just some really, really unique stuff going on there that I think is really good for the community. It's educating. Um, there's just a lot of information to be had from Transparent Knives. So there will be a separate video kind of highlighting him and what he does. And uh, we'll get into the, the all the details then. But what you have here is a completely different blade. Um, bug out handle, obviously a bug out clip. But this is a completely different blade made by Transparent Knives, um, sharpened, ground, ground, everything from Transparent Knives. As you can see, there's this mark up here, TK48, which I, I'm assuming 48 may have been. This is the 48th blade he made from this batch. I don't, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I do believe it is M390, and I guarantee you if this is from Transparent Knives, this is properly heat treated and um, just an absolute slicing beast. And as you can see, I, I, I can't even show from the edge here, but I'm assuming that is a ridiculously paper thin edge. Look at that. Um, I'm assuming this is probably eight thousandths, seven to eight thousandths behind the edge. Um, I, you'll see all the details or the specs in the full review of this guy, um, but a very, very unique action and the blade comes out very nicely. And it is, I have a lot to say about this and Transparent Knives in general. I'm, um, I really enjoy what he brings to the community. Um, whoop. So we will be talking more about Transparent Knives and this knife right here. And uh, there will also be a full review of the Null Knives Voodoo coming out sometime soon. And then you probably won't see anything else about this Whippersnapper just because I've already reviewed the Whippersnapper. I just wanted to get that on the channel for a little eye candy for everybody. And uh, thanks again, Dilo, for that. So here you go, guys. Here's the unboxing for today. Um, let me know which knife you're most excited about. Really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And until the next one, I'm out.